with Claire. cell phone again. <laughs> Yes, this is the site of the Watermelon Festival, many, Sunland Park. How many times did we do that? Oh God, probably every time, uh, even going back to high school time. Yeah, we always, that's how we always raised money. Well, it, they still have it today. It's the Sunland Tunga Lions Club, and they um, come out here and set up a carnival, and all the community groups can get a booth. You have to sell Watermelon Festival tickets, which are like raffle tickets, to qualify for a booth. Back then it was 300. We sold so many that Terry got to be the Watermelon Queen, of here, which means it's the... Uh, the group that sells the most so, watermelon tickets. So Terry was our queen at least once. And, and we got a booth and we'd make about, we'd clear after paying for our stuffed animals about 500 bucks every time we would do it. And then we'd use that to buy props and stuff. So if I'm not here, how much of a percentage of the uh, group's income was that? Then you'll know. Oh, 500 bucks was probably about 100% of the group's income. We had a we had a $100 uh, prop budget per show. So it would let us do five shows. I think that was about it. It might give us a little bit of income for next year if things were slow or we needed something for, you know. And when the Rocha players showed up, what did they actually do? Oh, we'd have a booth. We'd have something like Bear Toss, had the teddy bears with the, you know, the plate on their head. You'd have to flip a coin into the plate, and if they got it in, they'd get a teddy bear. And we'd do a lot of barking and entertaining stuff, you know, to try to draw people in, you know, and would be around the a bunch of stuff. Wear shorts. That yeah, we'd do that. We'd ask the girls to wear shorts. And that was, you know, we'd, we'd usually draw a pretty big crowd and, you know, we, we, made, we made good money doing watermelon festival. Yeah. I was a watermelon princess one year. Were you? You were yes. a watermelon princess. Yes. Watermelon I was princess. Princess. Actually, it was for KBGB. It wasn't a Rocho Players thing. Oh. That's right. K but KBGB got the idea from RSB. Oh. 
think it was 1983 when I was yeah. watermelon princess. I have one of those shade things if we oh, right. if we want to do that. So tables. I'm gonna go move my car closer. Kathy said no. She did. You just just a little bit. Thank you. The worst person in the world. Worst person in the world. Oh, right. And then the ugly. The ugly. I know Ken. Oh, when we tried to incorporate the guitar thing, that was more good. That guy stopped showing up like halfway through the shows. Oh my gosh. Wait, Will, is Bobby coming? Look at those shorts. Did anybody talk to Bobby? Will did. Last night he said he was coming. Look at this. Come here. Now, I thought a few times that was Barbara, yeah. but that's actually a dude. Yeah. That's, that's, exactly. that's really Barbara. But that, that, yeah. Yeah. Wow, that that's does look like Barbara. I, know, I, that, I, I think I accidentally and, and said that was Barbara, and I noticed exactly. there were no boobs. Um, that's what happened. <laughs> that's in sunny, right? That's him after the cut. Oh, gosh. Oh, who's that? Oh, who's that? Oh, who's that? Huh? There he is. <laughs> look at that girl. Look at that. Look. Yes, he had. He had. Dinner. He, that was he really, really does have brown I hair. <laughs> I really wanted Kevin to do that shirtless, but after I saw him do it in rehearsal, I said, "No, we don't want. We don't want to scare the kids." That. Oh, the the flight helmet was just the best. That was the best. I caught my dress and I ran in. Oh yeah. Did anybody talk to Mike? I called Mike and left a message. Documentary for it was that good. Right it was good for me. That that was an amazing thing. That cast. I sent her the tail script. Have you seen any of those before, Dan? Oh, I think I saw him back in the day, but no. Yeah. Yeah. That was it was on YouTube for a little while. It was bulletproof, part. man. We were awesome. Yes, we were. We, we can were say that. And we were so pretty. Look at us. We were just so pretty. <laughs> we were all dark. we were all dark. Every all of us, we had that. Yes, dark, we did. That, yes. There was a there was a little edge to like all all of this stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we had it. And, uh, well, yeah. Tales was laced with like adult Sorry. humor too. Yeah. You know, <laughs> there was a lot of oh yeah stuff where you know people. Did you mean? Okay. And I, of course, I no, I have no yeah. idea what you're talking about. If we were at a show, but we yeah. always wrote nat dirty lines into it. Was, it was fractured fairy yeah. tales, really. It was. It was. It was. <laughs> See, I still look that stupid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I was in the cast with you, Will. Uh, yeah, you were. I was? There you go. No, what I'm going to ask how I know Dan, right. and if you didn't go to Verdugo, what did you know? He's one of the dudes. No, <clears throat> I, I, met, um, I met Kevin and Bobby through my sister and Wendy Donaldson. I called Mike and left a message. <laughs> There's the door cat. <laughs> This was the this was I think the most amazing cast in the transformational summer there. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. I'm working on the it documentary was, for it that. It was good. Right now. It was good for me. I keep taking it. Oh, good grief! Yeah. Yeah. He said, no, nah, we'll just 